Now, as you all know, we are celebrating National Hispanic Heritage Month. So in the kitchen today to help us do that is our next guest, who is here to show us how to make a beautiful plate of enchiladas verdes. Please welcome back our good friend, Chef Marcela Valladolid. <laughs> Um, thank you for saying my name so beautifully. Oh, Marcella, with a last name like Matenopoulos, yeah. I don't say Valladolid correctly. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. It's like, I'm always like, okay, fine, I'll take it. That was so good. No, thank you. I appreciate no. it very much. Oh, and we appreciate that you are here to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month yeah. with us. And as we all know, heritage evolves. It's not just something that happens overnight. Yeah. And during this time, over the last few months, your recipes have also evolved, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, and, and you were talking about heritage, it, where I come from, and I'm sure it's the same for you in Mexico. If you want to change a traditional recipe, the abuelas, the grandmothers are like, do not. Oh, yeah, don't touch it. Don't touch it. You don't no. mess with perfection. But any organism, like you said, that doesn't evolve, it dies. That's right. So, you know, you have to evolve. And for me, it became, my family's not fully plant-based. I kind of am. And I really wanted to kind of, not just offer myself, but offer my followers an opportunity to really hold on to the traditions and the flavors and the culture, but give them kind of, what if I gave them a plant-based option for right. some of these super traditional recipes? I love that. You're right. going to show us how to make enchiladas verdes. Enchiladas sure. verdes. And what I love about this is it's a really simple process. I have my tomatillos, jalapeño, chile huero, which is this beautiful thing right here. No spice, just a really fresh flavor. I've got some garlic. And what you're going to do with this guy, you're going to roast it in the oven. Okay. Until olive get, oil, anything? Oh, olive oil, salt, and pepper, yes. Okay. Olive oil, salt, and pepper, just a tiny bit, just a drizzle. It's also a really healthy recipe for you, mm -hmm. so it's all good. So we have some that's already going on in here. And, and how long would they stay in the oven? Uh, just until they get toasty. If you're at 350, you could do a good 30, 35 minutes, but you okay. just kind of have to watch it. So these guys can go in. I have until these the that are right here. Like and then we're going to fill it. Because we're plant-based, we're doing a potato and spinach filling. Nice. And the reason I like to do that, I want to give it like, make it earthy and kind of filling. And potatoes kind of do that job. Yeah. They make you feel like you had a good day. Exactly. Right? Hearty. You know what else does that? Mushrooms. Yes, exactly. They're so meaty and beautiful. Okay, so we have some potatoes here. I'm going to put them up here. We'll do a little swap. We're doing a little swap. And these can go in here and you can have this for dinner later. Oh, I'm going to have this for me right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> go ahead, ma'am. Go ahead. <laughs> so what I've got going on here, I've started my filling. I've got some garlic, a little bit of oil and you don't want it to be too too hot because you don't want the garlic to get bitter so you right. start with that garlic and then what we're going to do we're going to add our spinach and I know this looks like a lot but spinach will wilt down to like nothing isn't that true my yes. goodness you buy the big package of spinach in the market and you think all oh, this will be plenty and it's one serving yeah and then you're done mm -hmm. so we're just going to let that wilt for a little bit and then what you do to this once this wilts a little bit we're going to let it go when it gets down to like a third or a fourth of its size, then you can add those potatoes and kind of mash them in. And this is exactly what it looks like. See, this is the filling. And this is great for wow. like taquitos, empanadas, anything you want to do with that. It totally works. Marcella, so this, this is up. fantastic. Is it yummy? Fantastic. You do not miss the meat at all. No, you don't. It's a great dinner. It's okay, wow. so for the tomatillo salsa, really simple. Like I said, everything in the sheet pan, you just pop it in the blender. With the skins and everything, huh? Everything, no peeling. Right. Well, with the tomatillo, remember when you get it at the market, it comes with a husk. So that you do peel, and you have to okay. kind of really wash them, rinse them, because they're kind of sticky. So you put those in there, and then the garlic, you did roast it with the peel, and you do that because you don't want it to get bitter. Oh, yeah. But the it trick makes, it is... It makes it sweet when you do that, doesn't exactly. it? Exactly. Otherwise, and then you just kind of press mm. the meat from the garlic into the blender, just like that. That is so good. And that's where you're going to get all of your smoky flavor. So we've got this over here. And then we're going to blend this real quick. And that's it. You just give it a quick pulse. Yeah, you just give it a quick pulse. And this is like up to you, right? If you want it to be super chunky or you want it to be, you know, a little less. There we go. We have some that's right here. Now, for the tortillas, this is a great tip for, like, the home cook. If you um, brush them lightly with oil and pop them in the oven, you bypass the, uh, the process of quick frying, which is the traditional way of making right. enchiladas so that they stand up to the sauce. Otherwise, it gets soggy. So a quick brush of a little bit of olive oil, and then you bake them till they're nice and pliable. And it and saves then, you some calories as well. Totally, and then you can build that enchilada. So I'm gonna do a couple right here. You go ahead and build those because these are absolutely fantastic. And I'll tell you, the, the tortilla stands up to the sauce perfectly. While you do that, yes. let's talk about how um, this time at home has been quite transformative for your cooking. Like you said, you're going really hardcore into the plant-based stuff and really introducing it to your family. 
and doing a fantastic job. And you have some really beautiful recipes I'd like to show everybody. Yeah. Uh, I, oh, look, that's a that's a poblano rigatoni with roasted corn mm. and uh, squash blossoms. I have a 400 square foot edible garden in my backyard. Oh my goodness. So a lot of the recipes, and that's why I was like, oh, I need to kind of you know, remind people to cook from the earth. Those are chiles and nogada, one of Mexico's most traditional, so good. emblematic recipes, and it's made fully plant-based. Um, and there's a, I did it with uh, using wheat berries, so you get a really earthy feeling of like eating something really hearty, just like we talked about with the mushrooms and the potatoes, so. And there's your beautiful family right there that is enjoying all of this new, plant-based way of eating. <laughs> Those are actually all of my friends. Those are not oh, all of my friends, family. a few of my friends. That's not my family. Those are, I just went through yoga teacher training, which has inspired a lot of these foods. Really? And that was my yoga teacher graduation. We did a whole bunch of plant-based Mexican food. Oh my goodness. And they loved it. I know it. all the yogis love that. That's oh, right totally. up their alley. Exactly. Congratulations on that, by the way. Thank did you. you just do this during this time? Now? I did, I did. I did half virtually and half in person. I can teach you enchiladas and uh, down dogs. Next uh, time I'm here. dog, ashtanga <laughs> or what? Uh, yeah, vinyasa, a little bit of everything. I am yes. so impressed with Thank you, you. Maricela. Thank you. Thank you. As if I didn't love you enough. No, I love you even more. <laughs> We're gonna do some yoga and have, then have some uh, plant-based enchiladas. Exactly. Exactly. You're so awesome. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having and me. And happy Hispanic Heritage Month, my Thank friend. You. Thank you for celebrating it. Of Thank course. You. So you all, please be sure to visit Marcella online at casamarcella.com. And as always, you can grab this recipe at hallmarkchannel.com.